Hi guys, it's Alec from TutorialEdge.net and welcome to the ninth tutorial in my programming 2D Pong with LWJGL3 tutorial series. In this tutorial we will be implementing uniform vario variables to our shaders and we will finally be able to create paddles that move. Okay, so in the last tutorial you'll remember that we left off with the ball being rendered to fit the size of the game window and that can be seen when we press build here. And this was to show the full effects of the changing colours thanks to the fragment shaders calculations. So to start off this tutorial, we're going to change the vertices back to what it was. So open up the vertices class and just copy and paste these in. And we're going to make a few minor modifications to this. Change the 0.25 to 0.05 and the bottom 0.25 to 0.05. You should notice that this renders a small rectangle on our screen. Okay. okay, so now that we've reset those values, it's time to discuss what uniform variables are and how they help us in our game engine. Uniform variables exist in order to allow us to pass extra data to the shader for a specific object. This essentially allows us to input a Vector3F into our shaders and tells the shaders exactly where to draw our objects on the screen. So, if we went into our vertex shader, you'll notice that I've put in a, a uniform Vector3 called Position or Pause. And basically, within our main loop, um, we set the position, GL position here. And right now, we're going to add pause to this position. And this basically uh, takes in the position and adds our new vector 3F position to this position. So the X, Y, and Z will be the X, Y, and Z of the position variable will be added to the X, Y, and Z of the position, the other pause variable. Okay, so if you navigate to our shader class, you'll notice we've already written these two functions. And these are the two functions we're going to be using to set our um, uniform variable in our shader. So if you navigate to our level class, um, we'll do that here. And right in the draw function, after we've started the shader1, we're going to do shader manager dot shader one dot set uniform 3f and pause. We're going to pass in ball1.position and we're also going to uncomment all of these different things. And we're going to wrap these in the same sort of format as our ball. And we're also going to change this to player one dot pause and player two dot position. Okay, and just to show that this works, we're going to come up here and do player player one dot position dot y equals zero point five f. And you notice that our player one paddle has translated 0.5f f up the y-axis. Okay, so we're also going to do player2.position.x equals and 0.5f and we're going to change this to an x variable. And okay, so that's all you need to create moving paddles and you'll notice if I press the W key or the S key that it shoots off up or down depending on what key you press and that shouldn't happen so in the next tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you restrict your game loop to a specific number of frames per second so that we get nice fluent movement okay so if you found this tutorial useful at all then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more LWJGL3 game development tutorials cheers